can hear me, but uh, I've done a few videos on this and a little bit of research. So what I've found at this location is I've been told from day one that if you remember last time we had to maintain 60 PSI pressure. Uh, it's actually, they've cranked it up again. We're running 80 PSI pressure for my steam heaters. Uh, if y'all haven't read it, The Lost Art of Steam Heating, Dan Houlihan, uh, great book, and I've learned a lot. So what I found is I have air vents that have been closed. So we've got an air vent on each uh, heater. A lot of them are closed. They just replaced a few of them out here as far as the maintenance department goes. And uh, what I'm gonna do today is open these air vents up and see if we can't drop this pressure down. I don't think we need 80 PSI pressure. So, uh, go check out the book. We're gonna see how this goes. Started at the top and I've got air vent open now. Uh, we might have to replace some more of these, but uh, for right now they're not leaking. Uh, and we're looking good. So, let's work our way down and then uh, go from there. System's got to breathe. Literally every every air vent in this building closed. That one's still bleeding. Why or how these got closed? So we're going to continue on. I think it's going to solve a lot of our problems. And here the air is, it is in the system. They have increased the steam pressure, just pushing that steam a little bit further down the line. Now, when I say every air vent, I mean every air vent. This looks like one that they replaced. Now it's soaking wet, but uh, they had it off. That one's leaking water. We're leaking water because it's full of water. Here's the water hammer as the water drains out of it. I'll bet once we get the water drained out, all this goes back to normal. So now we've got a working open air vent. Imagine that, I'm starting to feed steam. We'll make sure this trap's flowing too. That could be part of the issue. We may have some traps failed. The traps failed, the air vent leaks water, they increase the pressure fixes the problem for the time being, but they have to continue to increase the pressure to get the steam further and further out of the building. I'm currently just still tracing my lines, guys. Uh, you can see with the position of that valve that uh, air vents off as well. Um, I'm gonna have to get a ladder to get up to these, but these are probably my highest risers. Uh, some on the other side go a little bit higher, so we're talking maybe 10, 20 foot at most. Um, to get back to the main lines here that run all the way over to the boilers. So, uh, we're getting all these opened up and then we're going to uh, go lower the pressure a little bit at a time and see how we do. Funny thing is, is all these air vents seem to work. And up top, right there, these are the vacuum breakers, and they look like they're all open. I haven't had a one of these leak yet. Well, I'm pretty confident that this is going to help us out a lot and be able to lower this pressure. 
don't claim to be a steam expert, but I tell you one thing I can do is I can research and learn about something. And I just knew something wasn't right. And I wrote up all these being closed the last time I was here. Uh, that was on a service call, so we're back just to do some regular maintenance. And I figured I'd start here and try to see what we could figure out on this thing. So we got most all the air, air vents bled. Take a look at this. That was running 80 earlier. It was set on 60 my last visit. And I'm, now that I've got the air bled from the system, my pressure dropped. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust this guy, get the pressure down to, uh, I've done the math, basically one pound should raise water 2.33 feet. So if I calculate at 30 feet is my highest return that I gotta push back, gonna be about 12 or 13 psi 12.9 exactly but so we're gonna lower this down about 15 to 20 let it sit for a little while and then we're gonna monitor all of our traps and all of our heaters and make sure we continue to return steam so we got it adjusted we're running about 15 psi or so on the that bottom gauge here we got two pressure reducing stations this is number two and I'm running uh, between 20 and 30 there, about 25 PSI or so. So we're gonna give it some time to kind of even out and we'll kind of adjust these back and forth and try to get even. Uh, we may be able to turn one of these reducing stations off now. I don't know why we need both of them, but uh, initially that's what I was told was both stations have to be turned on and we have to have 60 PSI pressure uh, to be able to push the condensate back which just kind of threw up a red flag. It didn't seem correct. And then I found all the vents closed. And with a little research, this is what I found. So uh, again, I'm not an expert, but if you don't know, ask questions. Uh, just because it's been that way for 20 years does not mean it's right. So we're gonna give this guy a little time to settle out. We'll see what our pressures end up at and uh, make sure our steam's still flowing. So I know it's still noisy, but we find out what caused this the whole time. I've got steam on, steam flowing through here. I pulled the union, my trap's feeding. I got a check valve. I'm fully open on my steam and I'm not feeding anything back out of my check valve. a bunch of crap built up in my check valves that I'm assuming was the whole cause of this whole entire issue. It's starting to flow a little bit better, so I'm trying to get this cleaned out. We might need to replace some check valves um, and go from there. I've got my steam back open with that check valve out. You can see our steam trap's working. As it builds up condensate, it allows a little bit of steam to push it through, so. <clears throat> Cut our fan off. We've got about 40 of these things. And you see the condensate will stop flowing. It's gonna do just what its name says, trap the steam. So we got some kind of flow out of this thing. Uh, the check valves are being ordered because they need to be replaced, but we tore it apart, cleaned it up the best we could. There, you can see some birds inside of there. It's just worn out, so, but doing better than it was. We're gonna put it back together and see what we got going. I'm on to my last one, two, three, four steam heaters. And uh, so I've got a vacuum breaker on each one at the top, and we got our uh, air vents at the bottom. Vacuum breaker 
is nowhere to be found. The valve was closed. So I've got some of these vacuum breakers. We're gonna make sure all those are open too. I've checked all the other ones. They do seem to be open. And then we'll go from there. We got down to about 20 PSI now and I'm running. I just got these last four to go through. It's amazing how these things have even worked for so long. So vacuum breaker in on that one, steam trap, everything's open. Uh, no longer leaking. This one wasn't leaking. It was missing a vacuum breaker too. So, there's your vacuum breaker. Um, completely missing. I can see back up over there, that one's missing a vacuum breaker too. And the last one's over in the corner. So, luckily customer had some vacuum breakers and uh, we're moving on. We're almost done with this building, only two more to go. So here we are guys, it's been a long day. We're running about 20 PSI, less than half of what they told me they had to be and what they were running. Um, so we're gonna call this one good. We're gonna watch it for a little while. All our vents, our air vents are open, vacuum breakers installed on the ones that didn't have them. All our valves are open. And this system's operating just fine at 20 PSI. We may lower it down a hair but we're gonna let it operate like this for a little while. So if y'all like this, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what y'all think, and we'll see you guys on the next one.